Yo, what's up? How you doing? It's Lil G Max, and today we are doing some cupiding, hooking up the girls and the guys. We're finding a girl, and we're gonna show her a group of five guys and see if she is willing, you know what I'm saying, to date one of them. And if they get picked, they get a hundred bucks. And if they say some wacky stuff during the date, and they don't have to go any third base or nothing, but get a second date, they get another hundred bucks, you know what I'm saying? So that's what the game's about. Let's get it started. All right, so we're gonna do some searching and let's get right into it. You could ask her. Hello, excuse me. Hey, I'm um, sorry to bother you. We have a daddy show. We have five bachelors, right? And they want to compete for a chance at a second date. And uh, if you're willing, you could have a look, look at the five bachelors and, you know, pick one of them and you go on a date with them. And uh, if they can get a second date with you, then, you know, they're Gucci. We, are you down? Oh, yeah? Yo, what's your name? Kalicia. Okay, Kalicia. Okay, so the name is just as beautiful as the face. Okay, and what do you do? I am actually a student, uh, and I have two other jobs. I work at a museum and a bar. Okay, we're talking to a professional, independent woman. And what do you like to do? Like, what are your hobbies? I like to do photography. I also like to read a lot. I watch a lot of anime. <laughs> anime chick. Hey. Okay, so anime. Um, what's your favorite anime? Well, I don't have, like, a favorite. I have tiers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like tiers of the good ones and then uh, the normie ones? Like, I always have a top ten ready, but if I had to choose, I'd definitely say, like, uh, my top three. Uh, Samurai Shampoo, Hunter Hunter. And the third one, I'm going to have to say, like, I had to take this seriously because I've been saying Demon Slayer is not my favorite. Right. Like, it's my favorite most recently, I should say. She knows her stuff. It's not like she's like, you know, oh, I play like anime and like I like Naruto. She knows the good, the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? I love you some Naruto as well. She's a real one. Okay, uh, I guess we could say the last question is, what will you say attracts you to a guy? Like, are you somebody who has a type or are you kind of like, I ain't got no type? I am pansexual, so like, technically I don't have a type. Like. It's the way how a person treats me and the way how they act. I'm not attracted to looks at all. I mean, I wouldn't say like at all, but there's different people, you know? Like I like different things about different people. I'm not gonna like focus on like their body or like their lips or like, I don't know, like something stupid like that. Right, right, right. You see guys, you know what I'm saying? Like you might think, hey, it's this and that, but your personality, you know, can really shine through if you get a good girl, you know what I'm saying? Choose wisely. But thank you so much. And um, we're looking forward to the date and we're looking forward to knowing who you pick. And uh, to our five bachelors, good luck. Hello, welcome back to another League of Legends Fortnite episode. If that's not thought <laughs> My name is Chris, the default Fortnite skin. What I like to do, breathing oxygen is my favorite. I will die if I cannot breathe oxygen. What can I offer you? A free NordVPN code, one month free subscription. If there is more, I have Surfshark VPN for one month. Two months free VPN. I have the $10 Fortnite gift card. I also have a $5 Presto gift card. Yes, I'm a very accomplished man. All right, my name is Sahil. Is you were my girlfriend, I would promise I would not gaslight you. 100%, I'm not lying. Even though, even though it looks like it, I wouldn't gaslight you. I would take you out for movies. I wouldn't make you pay most of the time. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm a good person. I will treat everyone good, I would, everyone right. Uh, it all depends on how the other person is as well. If you're funny, we, we'll get along well. If not, then there's gonna be a lot of awkward silences. So, brace yourself. Nothing's awkward unless you make it awkward. Hey, my name is Bati. I am an artist, a filmmaker. Hablo español. Quieres un hombre latino, yo soy el tuyo. Uh, I'm learning how to dance a little bit. I play soccer. Uh, if I were to take you out on a date, we'd go do something very fun, not just your traditional day. Like we would probably go salsa dancing while we're drunk. Uh, I'll show you how to paint. I'll paint you like a French girl. You don't have to take off your clothes in the first date though. Maybe in the second one. I drive, but I don't have a car, but I can rent a car if that makes you feel better. I I'm, I'm being honest with you. And uh, my favorite color is red. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, my name is Victor. I may not have the biggest dick, but I do have the money to get you a dildo. And I love long walks in the park. Please date me. Okay. Hello, my name is Jack, and uh, my favorite hobby is playing guitar and playing music.
way you treat a girl is every time you treat her out with respect. You hear me? <laughs> I'm intrigued, but I didn't hear what he said. The last he has a little bit of accent. He's like a treat her with respect. I mean, that's how you treat a girl. Oh, uh, like, treat her with respect. Like he didn't just violate that dog. I remember. <laughs> You think his name was Jack? Hey, Jack. And, and why did you pick Jack? He just seemed like a good person and the guitar, you know. Seren he serenaded you? Um, I wouldn't say he serenaded me, but, you know, I loved the way how he, you know, moved his fingers on the guitar. It was quite nice. Okay, okay. That uh, says a lot. Okay, so what did you think about the five other guys, starting from, uh, I guess we can call him number one? I don't know. I felt like he wasn't really taking it serious. So, I mean, that was the reason why he didn't get chosen. I think it was like maybe a little bit nervous, like, or break his heart, you know? No, and some parts need to be broken, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too nerdy for your liking? You like nerdy guys. Also. Yeah, I just don't like when they're not serious at certain points in time, you know? Like, there's a time and a place for everything. How about number two? Number two, I don't know why he started it off that way. Like, why are you saying, oh, no, I would never do this? Like, gaslight you? Like, sir, I feel like he would gaslight me. Because, like, why are you pointing that out immediately? You know, like, you're supposed to be showing your character who you are, you know what I mean? And maybe you might mention, like, hey, what, what am I looking for in a woman, you know what I mean? Instead of just being like, I don't do this, I don't do that, like, what? All right, so how about number three? Oh, number three was adorable. <laughs> number three was so cute, and honestly, I don't know why I, picked, I didn't pick him, but he was adorable, I love I love. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. I guess you know, Jack just kind of stood out. Okay, how about number four? Number four, also didn't really take a serious. So, you know, it was kind of weird. Uh, ball? Honestly, I, I think that a man's confidence is also really important, and so like the first comment was kind of Weird, you know, definitely want my man to have confidence, you know, confidence. Right, okay, confidence, all right, confidence, energy. Yeah. No, that makes sense. And then number five, our winner, Jack. If you were to say one thing that you really liked about him that stood out, you know, let's say beyond the guitar, like, you know, did you notice anything about him that you liked? Um, I think he was very neutral. He was very, like, I'm gonna have fun with it, you know, but like not be too, too silly. You know what I mean? And I really appreciated that. Like I wanted somebody to be like open and honest and I feel like I can get that from Jack. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so we're looking forward to the date and uh, seeing uh, how far Jack can go. Thank you. Okay, so I feel like he's gonna be super chill and relaxed, but also put in a little bit of effort. You know, he seems to be really sweet and really outgoing. I'm really looking forward to our date tonight. Honestly, I don't think it's really about like what she's gonna do. I think it's just about like us enjoying our time together and like really seeing if like we're compatible, that kind of thing. To the Elo Dream X show, we're doing Elo Dream X dates, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we're here with Jack, who was the uh, winner of our competition. And uh, Jack, are, are you looking to the date? Yeah, I'm 100% looking forward to the date. Uh, it's, uh, well, hopefully we're going to have the best time of my life, you know? So, uh, well, I guess you guys have to see and uh, lead up to crossroads. So, okay, okay. What are your expectations for this date? Do you have any expectations coming in? Uh, or, you know, just kind of like, okay, you know, let's see how she is, let's see how it is. Or, well, uh, I'm hoping, you know, to get out, uh, maybe a good person to talk to, you know, find, uh, hey, you only find the, you find the right one, right? You know? find the love of your life, yeah? Yeah, love of your life. Hey, you gotta be dreaming, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be dreaming. So, uh, so three things you gotta say, Jack. Uh, one of those things, and if you're able to see, to say those things and you know still get a second date from her, then you get another hundred bucks. I see, I see. They get the right response, you know, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it works. And you gotta be careful with the words. Right, right, absolutely. So, okay, so one of the things that you have to say is ask her for what it count. <laughs> you gotta ask for yeah, sure, but I got a little body count. Ah, boys, oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Fly about it, slick about it, and see if, you know, you know she's, she's going with it. And then she's like, she doesn't get offended. Second thing you gotta ask is like, size doesn't matter, right? I have the hard questions, the hard questions. That size matter, too big, too small, or too good. All right, all right. All, all you gotta do is ask any of two of these. Any two of them. Oh, yeah. Two of them. Any two of them. I say, you have to say all three, but any two of them, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll be good. Oh, boys, oh, boy. All right, fine, fine, fine. What's the third one? Here it on. The third one you gotta ask her is... What her favorite position is. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, that's a little tricky one. <laughs> so I have to choose out of those three. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, I, I, you I, know I, what? I'll make it spicy. We'll see. You make it spicy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to see all three of them. Who knows? Ooh, ooh. You guys get like to see the. the... This is a question. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, you better be watching around and stay, uh, tuned. stay tuned. Yes, sir. Da, da, da. Enjoy the clipped interview. Good. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Hey, <laughs> Dickie. So, my name's Jack. Beautiful to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Kalisia. Pleased to meet you. Well, uh, <laughs> did I go to date? Sure. Okay, I really like r and what is that beatbox thing? Okay, but most recently, I really like rock and I like metal. Well, not most recently, it's coming up on my like what? 15th anniversary? No. I want to be 13th anniversary? 16th anniversary of listening to music? Rock and Plus. metal, and it's, it's, it's been a while for a long ride. We'll sit down and get something and see. We'll just that look. Okay. Whatever your soul. <laughs> Jamaica, sing Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, it's Jamaica, Jamaica. From the island. I only see, you see the beautiful Curtis Islands. Yes. Is it the Curtis? Yes. Okay. And then my mom is from St. Kitts and Nevis and Muntrak because she's lit. For you. It's your island. Anyways, uh, Curse of Jimi Hendrix. Interesting story. Ooh. Sorry, don't mean to be psyche. Thank you. She. <laughs> Super naturally curly. Yeah, I was surprised at my. It, uh, gra grandpa genetics. Grandpa was big, I got big. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and curly ear too. Surprising curly. It's, it has lots of hairs for what I can eat. Mm -hmm. Air is naturally sure. Yeah. We want to put your hair in a little phony sale. Oh, no, wait. Look at the bottom. For you, you can definitely do that. That would be cute. Thing is, uh, eventually I'm gonna go well, places where I'm gonna shave my head off, so I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna get the one thing. So uh, the famous guitarist, right? The Jimmy Page, right? You know, he was known for annoying, annoying a lot of women, and not a woman, and she would go around with. I was wondering, you know, since you know, he always asked to the person, and then, do you have any bodies in here with that? Curious question. Mm -hmm. You know, can we work over spine? Back to personal. Oh, you're asking me? Hey, I <laughs> Oh. Uh, I have three. Three dots. Interesting story. My ass, how they ended? Mm -hmm. My ass is. Uh, your ass is us? Yes, I Yeah, we all have story, I guess. Honestly, I can't believe he would ask me something like that. Uh, I was very taken off guard and, you know, just kind of repelled, to be honest. Just dried up like the Sahara Desert, if you know what I mean. I'm actually a bartender, so just, yeah. Team not shoot a shit like they. <laughs> How old are you, for real? Keep going, keep going. One more, actually, you know, three, three, two more tries. Okay, um. And that hair makes me look young. 24. Whoa. And so far. All right, keep going. 25? Maybe. What? Piggy? Oh, God, I'm scared. Macy? Yeah. Oh, my God. He her baby. I think you got what, seven least? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like all that. So you'd like to be a model with me? I don't know if I'd like to get a model one day. Oh, oh do you like to do the photography? Yeah. Um, and I like to do makeup and I like to do hair sometimes. I mean, not all the time, but yeah, sometimes. You like to do ballet a lot, right? You must be made flexible to the right. French arms, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, in terms of first way, here's question. What is um, a fair position? Gosh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's never about us. I promise. That is a very wild question for a first date. <laughs> hey, you know, you gotta kick the ball and now uh, you gotta shut your shoot your chest. Oh my gosh. Is that a, like an Italian thing? Like, I 
I give or take, yeah, I have to say that. They're, oh, they're not bad home, and uh, all the care, all the girls punch you in the face, but if you get lucky, you get one that doesn't. That is abuse? Not okay on both part of uh, the side. Is it better than? Well, um, I don't know, I guess missionary meaning. Missionary. Brave man. Fuck, listen, it's an interesting position. <laughs> Take shot. You guys have a fourth bed for anything? Because I ain't all so dirty. What am I doing? I'm. Was it just base play cheese and you look like. Where's the dough? I feel so bad for you. <laughs> See, this is why I always stick with fries. You can just top it in a fryer. I used to come here and take uh, pictures all the time. Maybe I'll show you later. Look. I feel like I'm eating this fryer bone ketchup here. Pull it work. Oh, work. This is how I get the whole stamp. Oh, wait, I have one in my bag. That's okay. You drank chives? I'm a bartender. Like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, good coin. Easy. Because what bar is <laughs> <Those are> that? <laughs> what bar are you tending to? Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm about to do it today. <laughs> Cheers. What? Well, I guess it'll be a nice story. Huh? It's a story, all right. Are you having fun today? Yeah, I have a lot of fun, you know. We're a uh, great walk up. Uh, and, uh, well, say what you call it, yeah. Yeah, I had uh, a lot of fun tonight. Um, I was like, kind of wondering what you'd be like, and I'm glad I chose you. And I'm really glad, uh, well, I uh, still look really well the night thing. Aww. So, uh, say, previous question. What about that second date, you know, maybe another time to see each other one? Uh, I don't know about a second date. How do you want to come out of to a uh, nice place like this? I don't this guy real or not. Beautiful place in Toronto. There's a lot of train station. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. Well, thanks for meeting. Of course. Are you not gonna hug me? <laughs> so well. Oh, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. It's part of the reason, you know, I think a man's character, or anybody, anybody's character, you know, that's like the most important thing. And, you know, I felt like he showed me a part of his character when he showed, like, asked me those questions. I like that he's very friendly. He's a gentleman, you know, pulled out my chair. Uh, he leads the way for me in walkways. Um, I just think it's very sweet, you know, the way how he cares. I feel like I'm like on a cloud, but like there's thunder. <laughs> there's a little bit of thunder, and you know, like there's a little bit of bumps, you know, heading through, but like we're still smooth sailing a little bit. Uh, but you know, like no relationship is perfect, you know, uh, and I think I just wanna see where all this goes. Honestly, kinda shot because you know, that's like really sweet of him to do. Like I said, like he's just very, like kind of romantic, I guess. Uh, I guess that's very Italian, you know, they like to kiss. Okay, out of 10, I would give him an eight. Score slash rating, I think, would be if. What would I say? Four? Oh, no, I would say 6.5. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, I mean, listen, it was a uh, pleasure to be here, I guess. Coming into the day, you know, I was expecting, well, 
not too much. I received you know, the circumstances, the circumstances, but I was expecting, you know, you know, a nice girl to appear, and you know, my my um, expectations were satisfied. say you know going back over there you know and just like holy cow she's she's very cultured that's a good thing you know uh, a girl who knows a lot of her history a lot of uh music really interesting a really interesting thing about uh girls you know and they kept the conversation it keeps the conversation going you know yes absolutely a hundred percent great at keeping the conversation great, great character a really nice girl too, all around. I rate her right now, I would rate her... Uh, well, I'd rate her a good 8. Good 8-9. 8-9. Eight, 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 Think you know, I can't, you can't go in all the rack. You have to kind of like creep it in, creep it in, and then you know, you grab from context, right? She likes music, she likes art. Let's bring back some history and some art. And you know, it was a bit, it was a, yeah, you know, you have to be out for it a bit, taking chances. It was like, shoot, did I screw up? But you know, maybe it kept it interesting. More things to talk about, you know, it, and you know, if you know about the girl's history things to pick around like did you do this have you ever done this ballet they finished the date with a bang i guess well uh you know maybe it was those questions that kind of pushed her away you know but you know it could have been worse could have been worse but you know it was a meh it was a meh could it could have been worse i'm satisfied with it Plan finding your hobbies. Boys, anyone at home, uh, end of a date or start of a date. You always want to know, you always want to find out what the girl wants to, or likes, you know, her hobbies, and then try to connect things with you that you like, and then connect with her in different ways. So many ways to talk, so many things to talk about. You'll find one. You know, we learn from mistakes and uh, you try to improve and do better.